We are about to enter a new year, and this is when people are making their new year resolutions about who they want to be and what goals they want to achieve. But today, I want you to bear with me and talk about something called core wounds. Core wounds usually come from our past experiences. To some people, it might come from PTSD, and that basically sets the tone of what triggers us. We get angry very easily. We get sad. We get depressed. I want us to really face our core wounds before making ourselves better and taking the next step. Everybody has core wounds. Everybody has triggers. I'm going to share some of the common core wounds that a lot of people share: abandonment, the fear of being rejected or abandoned by other people, betrayal, the fear of being betrayed, or the feeling that the ones that we love will eventually. Betray us, unworthiness, the feeling of never being good enough, defectiveness, the feeling that we are defective, that there is something wrong with us. I would like to share my core wounds. Why not? My biggest core wounds are one, I'm not good enough, and two, I'm defective. Both of these core wounds came from my past experiences, either from childhood or some of very negative relationships that I have had with other people. The effect of "I'm not good enough" is that I am completely a perfectionist. I'm very hard on myself, and I try to do as much as I can, even though sometimes it exhausts me. When I couldn't do the tasks I plan out to do, I get a feeling of depression. Frustration, anger. When someone even hinted that I did something wrong, I overinterpret them, and I will burst into anger, accusing them for accusing me of being not good enough. In social events, I will mask that core wound by speaking perfectly, by acting properly. When I fail, I go back to my core wounds of feeling unworthy. Of feeling defective. A lot of the core wounds are developed by past events. Sometimes we project those beliefs and ideas to people that are around us at present, and that will essentially hurt our future. Now, here comes the part of how we can actually face our core wounds: self-awareness, diving to different aspects of your life that objectively proves. That your core wounds are founded. If your core wound, like me, is that I'm not good enough, think about your work. Are there evidences of showing maybe you are not perfect? This might be a very painful process, but we want to look at this without emotion. We look for facts, not assumptions. Then the second step is to do the opposite. Go back into those aspects of your life again and look for objective evidences that opposes. To your core wound, go to your work. Are there objective evidences showing that you are actually pretty good at your work? Do the same thing with your romantic relationship. Do the same thing with your family relationship. Do the same thing with your friendship. Write them down, meditate about that, speak them out loud to make yourself aware. This process will first of all tell you what you need to improve with yourself, and number two. Tell you that actually your core wounds, your triggers, are actually not really that bad. You can calm yourself. Nobody's perfect. Everyone has core wounds. Everyone has triggers. When all those things fail, there are people who care for you, and there are people who really wish you well. Go back to those people. Find somebody from that group who is more experienced, or intelligent, or who are your peers. Be vulnerable, because they care for you. What are you afraid of? They can give you ideas that will give you more of a guideline of how to cope with your core wounds and how to improve on the aspects that you can improve going into the new year. I hope you find this video helpful for you to go into a new year and become a better person based on knowing who you are first, what your core wounds are, what your triggers are. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and follow me. And remember, you can always go to my shop, private message me, or click the link below to get my class bundles. Wish you a happy new year, and I'll see you guys next time in Shine in Blue English, Shine in Kutang. Bye.